Okay, so if we start at the birth of the planet with no humans, no dinosaurs, but just the planet as its former earthy, rocky, sandy and watery state. Believe it or not, since then there's been five major extinction events. There was the Ordovician, then the Late Devonian, then the Permian, then the Jurassic Jurassic and finally the KT extinction, the one that wiped out the dinosaurs. But right now, as we speak, we're undergoing a sixth major extinction called the Anthropocene, which means the age of man. See, as humans were having such a large effect on the planet, by the end of this century, 50% of all the species on, on the planet will have become extinct. And the main reason for this is the massive amounts of carbon dioxide and methane gases we are emitting into the atmosphere as a planet. See, if we were to look at the five previous extinctions, each with about 150 million years between each one, every time there's been one, there's been a massive spike in carbon dioxide and methane gases within the Earth's atmosphere. For those of you that don't know, carbon dioxide is the stuff that cars, factories, also the oceans, vegetation and land produce. Carbon, uh, methane is a gas that animals produce. They fart it and pull it out. Um, see, if, you could, um, if we were to picture a clock, a 12-hour clock, we, if we were to try to fit the history of the Earth into this 12-hour clock, where would, where would man fit on this clock? Well, 1 o'clock, we'd have the birth of the planet. 3 o'clock, we'd have the formation of the moon. 6 o'clock, we'd have the Earth developing an oxygen atmosphere. 9 o'clock, we'd have the ice age. But where are we? Whereas humans, we appear just a few seconds before midnight. Humans appearing a few seconds before midnight and look at the damage we've done. Something I've always been really passionate about is aviation. I've always wanted to be a pilot. That's why this speech could be seen as hypocritical, because after all, planes produce the single largest carbon footprint of any of the current transport systems. This is why I believe if there's one thing as a planet we need to unite as countries and continents and invest, research and develop within is the aviation industry. Because let's face it, planes are the current choice for effective long distance travel, whether that be for logistical or for commuting mass amounts of people all over the planet in a very short period of time. It should, be, it should become a priority to invent these new planes that produce very little or no carbon dioxide. This has been done before. Take the Zeppelin, invented in 1910 and became a marvel of modern green engineering. However, the idea was dismissed as it didn't create a large enough profit for bigger companies. Thanks for listening and over to you, Sir Richard Branson.